Someone asks the question how to work uh, with attachment because when things go negatively in life, when things go badly or against the way we want them to go, she is um, like a small raft on the sea, she says, in the swells and in the torrents and in the storms of life, she experiences an enormous sense of uh, holding on to, wanting th things to be a certain way. And so she writes, how should she work uh, with attachment through uh, negative events and negative circumstances in life, which are so compelling and overwhelming in her case. I think as human beings we may, we may all know um, this experience. You could say very simplistically things go well, things go badly, things go according to my desire, things arise to thwart me and my desire. Things go against us, things go for us and surely we all rather naturally err towards um, things going well. Curiously in spite of the fact that things going badly are often the way in which we most learn about ourselves and about the world and about each other. But we are here or rather I've been approached as a spiritual teacher to answer this question and from the point of view of spiritual life or spiritual practice we learn from positive or negative experience equally. That is to say rather, being the, rather than being the small raft that's being tossed from side to side on the ocean that this questioner uses as a metaphor, we stand in a place of awareness itself in our spiritual life. It doesn't mean that we're not affected, it doesn't mean that we don't respond and we don't feel and we don't experience and we don't relate. As human beings we surely do all of these things and as fully and presently as possible. Uh, through our emotions, in our perception of events, uh, in our bodies. We feel, we experience. But here is perhaps the secret or the, or the issue and that is as attached as we are to our positive experience so we will also be attached to the negative. And what this means is that in spiritual practice you can work very directly with when things are overwhelmingly pleasant or uh, happy making or fulfilling or um, you kind of lose yourself in the joy and the ecstasy of the moment because things are going so terribly well. Maintain a place in you which is unaffected. See a broader picture if you will that as much as things may be going well today, they may go not so well tomorrow and vice versa. All you can really say is things are changing and life is change. And as much as you are attached and affected and identified with the positive event, so it will be reflected into the way in which you relate to the negative. Once you have mastered the ability to be in an awareness position, a witness position, a position of noticing or attention to life's events rather than right inside them. Once you've mastered that, whether negative or positive, you still attend, you still learn, you still feel, you still benefit. Um, from whichever um, type of event is taking place. So from a spiritual point of view um, we are not wholly uh, swept away by the vagaries, by the vicissitudes, 
the ups and downs of life because this whole lifetime begins with the moment of birth, ends with the moment of death and in between there is the wandering sequence the unfolding events of life some of them will be according to our will and desire and some not stand in that place of awareness that observes, that witnesses, that attends to the moment regardless of assess assessment or judgment or criticism of how that may be.